hello viewers welcome to the channel and to another tutorial in this video you'll see how to draw this model with this grid here we'll use the part design tools to draw this model so let's see how to draw this model first let's create a new document click here and select new document and now let's change the workbench to part design and the next let's create a new body and a new sketch let's select axi plane for this sketch and now we go to sketch a jump so of sketch a workbench and we select this tool here center the rectangle and now we click in this origin point and zoom out and draw this rectangle and next we'll set the dimensions of this sketch here so we select this tool here constraint distance tool and for this line here we'll set a length of 200 and this vertical line here will set 130 okay and now escape two times to leave this sketch and press home select pet tool okay and first we set symmetry plane and now we change the length of this extrusion to 1.2 and enter and now as you can see we have this part here and now let's create another sketch click here in this icon and again let's select axi plane and now zoom in and go to sketch a jump select this tool here rounded rectangle and now draw this rounded rectangle here and the next thing that we'll do is to delete this vertical and horizontal constraints of this line here so we go to constraints and now scroll down here and first click in this constraint here this horizontal constraint and now click shift and select this constraint here and now delete okay now as you can see we don't have this constraints here and now let's hide these all constraints and escape okay and now track these points in this way okay and next here We'll place vertical and horizontal constraints for these four points here. So now let's select these two points and let's place vertical constraint. And now these two points here and let's place horizontal constraint. Okay. And the next we'll set these lines equals. Okay. So first we select these two lines in this way and the next are these two lines and we place equal constraint. Okay. And now let's hide these all constraints. Click here two times. Okay. And next, let's set uh, the size of this sketch here. So, what you do now, we select this tool, constraint distance tool. For these two points here, we'll set a distance of 10 millimeters. And these two points here, let's set 4 millimeters. Okay. And next, let's set the size of this arc here. We click in this icon. And now in this arc, and we set one. Okay. Now, if we zoom in, we can see these all dimensions of this sketch. And now we have, as you can see, we have two degrees of freedom here. Okay. Now let's hide these all constraints. Click here two times. And the next thing that we'll do is to create a clone of this sketch here. So for now, skip and select this sketch in this way and click here and select this option, clone, and now place here. Okay, and next select the external jump tool and extract this edge here and now drag this sketch in this way and now select constraint symmetrical, this tool here and select these two center points and now this end point okay and now as you can see this sketch here is constrained in this end point here and now we have two degrees of freedom so it means that we have to fix this sketch here so what you do first let's drag this sketch to here and now let's select this tool horizontal distance tool and now select this point and this point here the distance here will be 6.5 millimeters okay and now select vertical distance tool and next these two points here you'll set 4.5 millimeters okay 
Now the sketch is full constrained and we can leave this sketch, escape two times and zoom in. Now what we'll do is to create a pocket using this sketch here. So what you do, we go to the model tip and we need to select this sketch here and then pocket tool. Okay, if we rotate this model, we can see that we have this pocket here. And now let's check this option similar to plane. And as you can see, now we have this hole. Click OK. And the next what we'll do is to create a linear patterns of this pocket. So first we select the pocket and then we go to this tool here, put transform tool, click on this icon and go to transformations and here then click on mouse and select this option, linear pattern. And now scroll down and the first thing that we'll do here is to change the duration to X duration to X axis. And now let's change the length here to and now change the number of occurrence here to 15 okay as you can see and now we have this linear pattern here it's all okay click ok here and then click on mouse and select this option again scroll down and first change the duration to z axis and now let's change length here to 130 minus 4.5 millimeters and and let's change the number of occurrence here to 14. Okay, as you can see, we have these all holes here. Let's click OK and OK here. Okay, we have these. And next, what we'll do is to create a new sketch. So click here in this icon and now let's select exit plane again and now we go to schedule jumps and again we select rounded rectangle tool select this option and now draw this okay and now select this tool here constrain symmetrical click here and select this center point and this center point and now this origin point okay and now let's add the result of this fillet here Click on this icon and now in this arc and the is here will be 15. Okay, and now let's hide all constraints and now let's add the vertical and horizontal dimensions of the sketch. First, let's select vertical distance tool and now these two endpoints here and we'll set and we'll set a distance of 121. And now select horizontal distance tool and then these two endpoints here and now let's change the distance here to 187 enter okay now we have this this rounded rectangle is now full constrained and next go to sketch jumps click here and select centered rectangle and click in this origin point and draw this rectangle the idea of placing this rectangle is to cut off all material outside this rounded rectangle so now escape two times and select pocket tool okay and now we need to set some to plane here because we created the sketch in the axis plane okay and now as you can see we have this Let's click OK. And now let's go to the model tip. And in this pocket, click in this arrow and select this sketch here. What to do with this sketch is to create a copy. Select this sketch and now click here in this icon and use original solutions. Now pass the sketch here in this document and make the sketch visible. Spacebar. And now drag this sketch into this body here. And let's rename this sketch to Puff Sketch. Let's rename to Puff and enter. And now double click here. What you'll do here in this sketch is to 
delete this rectangle here so let's do that select these two lines and these two lines here and delete and now skip two times okay now we have this sketch here this sketch will be the path sketch okay and now let's create another sketch click in this icon and let's select for example this plane here where is the plane okay and here what you do we go to sketch of drums again and we need to select this tool here centered rectangle now just click in this vertical axis and now click in this horizontal axis and now we have this rectangle and now select between this and tool this tool here and for this horizontal line let's set a length of three millimeters and now for this vertical line let's add 15 skip two times and now go to the model tip rename this sketch here to profile okay and now let's change the attachment of this sketch here then click on mouse and select attachment editor option and now click here in this button, zoom in, and let's select this line here of this path sketch. Okay, if you zoom in, you can see that now we have the profile sketch here and this line of this path sketch. Okay, now just click OK. And now it's time to create a shape using this profile sketch and this path sketch. So what you need to do is to select the profile sketch first and then at div pack 2 and now we need to select a path so we go to path to super long and we click in object button and we select this sketch okay as you can see here we have path sketch click ok now let's close here and now to finish this design, let's create a fillet in this edge. Zoom in, select this edge, and now control this edge here. And also control, select this edge and this edge here. And now select fillet 2. Change the ridge here to 0 0.5 millimeters. And now click OK. So now we finish uh, the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of this channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video, and you will find a link to my coffee page. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.